Good morning. It's turned out nice again. Mother, hey, how's it going, guys? You alright? Yeah, good, good, good. You like a t-shirt? You like that? Yeah. It's not what you thought, is it? <laughs> I'm just beating you to what you already think. Uh, I'm getting my hair cut today, guys. So there'll be no cap uh, later today. It's a right mess. I hate it when you get these bits. Look, when you get old, you start going grey. Someone said to me the other day, they went, "You've really gone grey in the last year, haven't you?" I was like, "Yeah, thanks for that. Nice one." That's because I've got so much shite going on in my fucking life. <clears throat> you alright? Good. Um, we'll be streaming on here tonight. After the game. As soon as the game finishes, I'll be uh, doing Saturday night steaming. Streaming. I don't want a late night though, guys, honestly. Uh, I can't be doing my stay up till five in the morning and that. Um, I hate to do this to you, but we're going to be talking about Jude Bellingham. And when Fabrizio Romano, Mo Salah! Have you ever heard him? You must have seen them videos when he was talking about Mo Salah when he was screaming that for like 20 minutes solid or something. That Fabrizio Romano, I do like, you know, to follow him in that. Um, he does get some good stuff, there's no doubt about it. He does. Um, but I, I, th I think he's a bit mental and all. I think he's a bit like Luke the Loop, you know what I'm saying? Are you allowed to say that today, Luke the Loop? Like nuts, crazy, mental. No? All right then. Cancel me, I don't care. Um, he came out, didn't he, and said, more or less said, Jude Bellingham to Real Madrid, uh, Madrid, Madrid uh, was done, you know, or whatever. And there was big, bold claims made uh, in Madrid in the Spanish media as well about it. So, you know, you know we did the videos. We, we had these conversations and, yes, we're disappointed. But I was like, you know, at, le at least Real Madrid, I'd rather he went there than Man City, especially, oh, Man United. Oh, God, I couldn't be doing with that. Um, and I thought, well, you know, at least we don't have to endure this all summer. You know, like, will he, won't he? Because Liverpool fans will, me included, you know, if he doesn't sign for anyone, you'll always be thinking, well, you know, you never, you never know, do you? And that is, you know, that is football. You never, ever, ever say never in football, right? And it's gone very quiet again, hasn't it? Now, in some respects, it has to be quiet because his club, Borussia Dortmund, are chasing for the Bundesliga. I think they're one point off the top of the table, right? It's that close. So they'd be absolute fucking hell on uh, if, you know, the player came out and said, yeah, this is what I'm doing, you know. Um, so I, I, one can only assume that that's why it's quiet at the moment. However, can you hear that drilling again? And a quick story, I live in Spain, right? And... If you want to put like a, an extension on your house or do any work outside your house to your property, um, it's very difficult to get planning permission and it can be costly. It's easier to do it illegally and then get fined, right? So what happens in Spain is, <laughs> and I've had this done before at my house, right? The house opposite me on the other side of the street, they're having an extension put on like an extra bedroom on the side of their house. Six o'clock this morning, <clears throat> drilling, right? And they do that on a weekend because there's no planning inspectors or, or anything on a weekend. If they did that during the week, they'd get caught. And I guarantee you, right, that the, the extension on the side of that house, that bedroom, will be finished by Monday morning, right? So they literally start crack of dawn this morning. They're on it now. They've got the, I don't know, the metal beams are up already. It'll be finished by Monday morning. And then if the planning drive by, they will, you know, they'll just, no, it's always been here. Do you know what I mean? So... I, don't, I know you don't. I don't know. I'm just trying to tell you a little bit about Spanish life. Spent as fuck out here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why else you think of here? Uh, no, yeah, that's what I do. So if you, if, if you ever think of coming to Spain and you're going to do any work on your house, if you ever, or, or, or if you drive around in Spain and you say, oh, look at the workmen working at six in the morning on a Saturday. Yeah, that's because they don't want to get busted. Trust me. So you might hear a bit of drilling. Anyway, back to, uh, back to Bellingham. So we don't, ex you know, you have to assume that it's gone quiet because they don't, British and Dortmund don't want any distractions, right? Which is, yeah. The thing is, right, until you see him holding up a Real Madrid shirt, you, he, he could go anywhere, right? And I, I know that, you know, that you will be saying, I'm not deluded, Dunk, he's not coming to me. Us. Me. Us, right? I know that you'll be thinking that. And, I, I, and I'm like that too. You know, I think like there's no chance he's going to come. But you have, in football, you just can't, you just don't know. And what's made it worse, which is why I'm making the video, is if you've got Twitter, tag 
TAG2056, right? He's a friend of mine. And he calls me little bro. I call him big bro. Uh, we've, we've never met. Well, we have met, but he don't know that. It's true. Yeah, yeah. I'll talk about that one day in the future. Yeah. So, um, Tag is a British cop top VIP member, obviously. Uh, and he's one of the nicest guys in the LFC community, if you like. Now, he used to work for Liverpool Football Club in a very trusted position, right? Now, you might say to me now, used to, don't, used to, yeah. But his friends still work there, all right? Say no more. Now, tags on Twitter, right? I'll just give you his username, right? He would be extremely insulted if you suggested that he was claiming to be an ITK or something like that. Because he's like me, he's a fully grown man, right? And if you look at his tweets, he, he hashtags them TKAF, which stands for Tag Knows Fuck All. TKFA, Tag Knows Fuck All, TKFA, sorry. Right, TKFA, which is a joke between me and him, really. It's, it's inspired by my DKB, Dunk Knows Best, Tag Knows Fuck All, kind of thing, right? It's just, it's between, it's just, that's what it's about, right? Uh, because he doesn't want to be considered an ITK. Neither do I, I would be greatly offended by that. Call me anything, but they'll call me ITK, right? You know what I'm saying? And, um, unless you call me the original ITK, that's all right. Because I go back to the 90s. Have I ever told you that? So, tag knows for call, right? Basically, is what he's saying. Now, you, you make your own opinions, all right? Don't listen to me, don't listen to tag. But I seen his tweet yesterday can you hear that? I seen his tweet yesterday and he said, he was asking basically, oh, let's get the tweet, for fuck's sake. Oh, someone sent me a message. Uh, let me go to, right, so my Twitter account is at Duncan Oldham. And he tweeted out, so if we don't sign Jude Bellingham and then in brackets he put, I've not given up on it, wink. After courting him for two years, where do you lay the blame? And he's put hashtag TKFA. And I retweeted that today and put, fuck off, big bro, I can't handle this coming from you, right? Tag, right, has not ruled it out yet. So for me, you, you form your own opinions, but for me, right, if Tag ain't ruled it out, I ain't ruling it out, right? Now, I'm sure if you asked him, he'd go, well, to be honest, don't, I can't see it happening, but I'm not ruling it out, which is kind of what I've been saying to you guys. And the thing is, the thing is, well, Tag would never mislead you. And Tag will have that opinion because he will have heard something from within Liverpool Football Club, right? I don't mean a steward or someone in a club shop or anything like that, I'm not being disrespectful to any of those people. I'm saying that the people, I, I, I know, all right, that's all you need to know. And if you follow my content, you should know that people like me, Tag, we're different to the loons online, all right? Uh, I don't know. If you're new to my channel, oh, we're not, we're not interested in what you think. Uh, but the people being around here for a long time know the score and... Um, until Tag rules it out, I can't rule it out. That's how it operates, right? That's how it goes. And, but equally, I, I must stress to you that I do think he will be of the opinion where well, I can't see it happening, but you never know. Because you just don't know. And this is, the, this is the thing that frustrates me with all of this, that when Romano ran his mouth about it, you saw me make a video and said, well, thank fuck for that then, because I don't want this going on all summer. I just don't want it, guys. And I don't want you guys, because I know to some of you it means a great deal. To me, it doesn't. But to some of you, I know it does. And I know that you'll be hanging to every word of something like that in the hope that something happens. I would love it to happen, right? I don't think it's going to happen. I don't. I don't think it's going to happen. But I can't rule it out yet. I just can't. Uh... Nothing has come out from Real Madrid 
In fact, if you look at some of the reports in Spain, I'm in Spain and I have Real Madrid supporting friends in Spain. So I speak to these people about this. Uh, I think that if I see a, uh, a Spanish article without using Google Translate, I can probably understand 70 to 80 percent of that article. The bits that I don't understand, I would I would ask a friend. Yeah. And I'll try, you know, my chances on Google Translate, but it's not the best. You know, it's better to ask a, a native Spanish speaking person. And why am I making the video? I'm making the video because the fact that Tag has said that, that he has that opinion, uh, which echoes mine, is important. And the fact that Tag is saying it means I have to hang on to it a little bit longer. That's it. And I don't want to. Me, I prefer, you know, I genuinely do think that it will uh, go elsewhere. Uh, there are some comments from the manager that I want to speak to you about in a separate video, uh, which kind of, uh, you know, pour even more water on it, you know, on, on, on the speculate, the flames of speculation saying that it's not going to happen. I don't want you to think that I'm giving, giving you false hope or, uh, or whatever. I'm just, look around these parts and on the Cop Talk members website, right? As daft as we may be and as stupid as we may be in terms of banter and giggles, especially on a Saturday night on here, it is a very, very mature environment. It's not, you know, that it's not Twitter. It's not that, you know, youngsters or loons, divs or whatever, clutching onto ITKs and that. It's just not, right? So I'm trying to say to you the importance, the, the reason I'm making this video is the importance of Tag having that opinion means that someone has had a word in his ear. That's it. But it doesn't mean that it will happen. It doesn't mean anything. It just means until that player is officially confirmed as a player elsewhere, anything can happen. Because if you think about it, Liverpool could, could end up selling somebody. You know, there could, there could be a high-profile player at Liverpool, you know, that suddenly goes, I want out. You know, and suddenly Liverpool have got more money. Liverpool could secure some kind of investment. You just don't know anything. Based today, today's date, the time of recording, I don't think we're going to sign Jude Bellingham. I don't. But tag. Oh, maybe you don't care. I don't know. I listen to tag. I trust, I trust tag with my life. I really would. And if he says that, then that's good enough for me. Um... Okay, I'm sorry if this video is... Um... <laughs> so, so I know for a fact there'll be some people watching this video that are not part of the Cop Talk community uh, that are just desperate for news and they want to knock one out to it. It's This video's not exciting enough, you know. You know what I mean? The, them fucking lunatics, right? The people that we don't want around here, right? But forget them. I'm talking to those of you that are switched on and that get it, all right? So, why am I telling you? Why am I telling you that, why am I continuing this nonsense? If you think it's not gonna happen, don't, well, but just what I think is irrelevant anyway. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't know what's gonna happen, because I'm not a Twitter ITK, am I? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm telling you that if Tag says he's not ruled it out yet, that's the teeniest, teeniest little bit of hope. That's all. That's all. And uh, we shall see. All right. It's not going to change my weekend, whatever you think. If you don't like my video, if you get upset or start caps locking me to death on a keyboard, that's fine. Um, but I know that um, my regular followers com will completely understand what I'm saying. And I know that uh, many of you guys follow Tag on, on Twitter. And I can assure you he... Uh, he does not want to be considered. He, he he doesn't go on Twitter to, uh, you know, try and be someone like some of these people. He has no uh, affiliate links. He doesn't have a website. He doesn't have a blog. He doesn't have a YouTube. He doesn't do anything like that. He's just a Liverpool fan, uh, and he's a die-hard Liverpool supporter. The one thing I will say about him is 
Well, first of all, if you go and subscribe to his, his Twitter, because you don't know who he is, say, hello, Dunk sent me. Or say, little bro sent me. Uh, the one thing I must say about Tag, he's, he is exceptionally uh, anti-FSG. So if you see him put a tweet out saying, those FSG parasite, you know, whatever, don't misinterpret that and think, oh, something's happened. What's he heard? No, he just don't like him. Do you know what I mean? Uh, because sometimes when he says something like that, it will be conveyed to the members website, the Cop Talk members website. And people say, oh, something must have gone off because Tag said no. Tag just hates them, right? He, he, he just hates them. And, you know, he's in Liverpool. He's worked for the club. He is exceptionally well connected, in my opinion. I'm to people that you don't want to get on the wrong side of. I'm just saying that as well. Uh, so don't upset him. <laughs> don't upset me if you like walking uh, and eating your food with an iPhone 4 not that he's like that but I'm just saying he, I, I, Tag is, he's a good guy I like him uh, and I'm keeping him on side that's all I'm saying ooh ooh I've got a message I've had a, I've had a kiss blown to me like that one of them emojis it's not from Tag hmm It's, it's from that. The picture is, is, is slightly over the frame. I noticed that. It's, someone must have knocked it or something. It just I'll push it over for the next video. If anyone's watching my video for the first time, I fucking hate that picture. I hate that picture. Um, but my wife hung that picture there years ago. Uh, and although she's not here, she lives in England now. I've seen her twice in three years. Most of my followers know she was here. Was it last week, two weeks ago? Um, until I divorce the bit, no, until, <laughs> until it goes good. When that goes down, that's it. You know what I'm saying. So for now, he can stay there. I will tell you what, I sent a, I sent a picture yesterday. Me so dear, right? Give it late. All right, like that. You know, I made that. I made a video for you guys. I thought, oh, he looks handsome. So I took a picture, and I said, how can you not want that in your life? Meaning me, yeah. You know what a reply was? It's right here in front of me. She put, yes, it's true. I can't leave that picture. Fucking bitch. <laughs> I just replied, touche. Touche, fair enough. Yeah, that's cool. So, no, me, we, we get on, we're cool. Uh, but she lives in England and I live in Spain. And I don't want to live in England. So, that's that. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. But, however, I am going to measure that picture because I'm going to replace it anyway. So, uh, I'm definitely going to measure that picture. I don't like it. But what can I put there? That's what I, I don't know what I mean. Have you got any suggestions? I was thinking out of the picture of myself, you know, a bit like Brendan Rodgers, you know what I'm saying? A bit like Brendan. Ah, dear me. Brendan Rodgers is a picture of himself up in his own house, which I, I think that's mint. <laughs> Uh, dearie. Oh, it's the uh, it's the coronation today, isn't it? Now, I know a lot of you miserable fuckers don't care about that. I, listen, I, I, I'm British, man. I like it. I like it. Uh, and uh, if you don't like it, if you oppose the monarchy and all that and the privilege, there's nothing wrong with that, right? You have your opinions. It's cool. Right? I, I respect everyone's opinions in life. Um, but don't be a cunt and spoil it for everybody else. Basically, so do you, you know, if you're going and you're going to protest or out like that, that's cool. But don't ruin it for people that just want to have something nice to be fucking to in, in England for once. You know what I mean? It's, the country doesn't come together very often, you know. Uh, anyway. I've got my bunting ready. I'm going to hang it up. I'm going to hang my bunting up up here. <laughs> 